Greetings family, peace and love to you and yours. This is Guru and thanks for visiting my channel. Family, a small town police chief said black people were, quote, like ISIS and wished he could mow them down. That's right, his name is Frank Nucera Jr., a former New Jersey police chief is now facing federal charges in connection with a racially motivated attack. Let's take a look at the story. Family, a former police chief of a predominantly white small town in New Jersey said African Americans had, quote, no value and were, quote, like ISIS and suggested putting them before firing squad, federal authorities alleged this week. Federal authorities have arrested Frank Nucera Jr., who until recently was chief of Bordentown Township Police Department. They allege the now retired officer referred to African Americans using various racial slurs and instructed his officers to position police dogs at high school basketball games in order to intimidate African American patrons, according to a criminal complaint unsealed on Wednesday. Nucera Jr., 60 years old, is facing a hate crime charge and a federal civil rights charge. FBI Special Agent Vernon Addison wrote in an affidavit, affidavit that Nucera has a significant history of making racist comments concerning African Americans to whom he frequently referred to as niggers and other Italian derived racial slurs for African Americans. One of Nucera's officers made numerous recordings of Nucera which contained extremely offensive racist comments over the course of a year because he was alarmed by Nucera's racism, according to the affidavit. The federal charges against Nucera relate to a September 1, 2016 police encounter involving an 18-year-old African-American man and 16-year-old African-American girl. A hotel manager called police because he said the pair hadn't paid for their hotel room the night before and were swimming in the hotel pool. The FBI affidavit states that their encounter with police escalated into a physical struggle, that both teens resisted arrest, and that one of the officers used pepper spray. After both teens were handcuffed, Nucera allegedly grabbed the 18-year-old's head and slammed it into the right side of the metal door jam, according to the affidavit. An officer heard the 18-year-old's head make a loud thud as it hit the door jam, the feds alleged. Well, of course, they used the words alleged, and I don't mean to say that in this recording, but um, as I see the, the words, I can't help but to read it, but my apology. We know that the words alleged, what they mean is that it actually happened, they're just reporting on it and they just want to use that word to sugarcoat the behavior of savage people working in the police forces. I digress though. Officer said that the 18 year old wasn't resisting when Nucera slammed his head but had stopped walking for a moment to loudly complain. The use of force wasn't reported to the department. After Hours after the re assault, Nucera was recorded telling an officer he was, quote, fucking tired of African Americans. Quote, I'll tell you what, it's going to get to the point where I could shoot one of these motherfuckers, Nucera said. And that nigger bitch lady, she almost got it, he said, referring to the 16-year-old girl's aunt who was present at the arrest. Fucking nipple hanging bitch. I'm so tired of them, man. Unquote. Now, family, do you hear the words that came out of the mouth of a police chief? Thank God they are bringing federal charges against him, but every case that he was instructed or in charge of, they should drop and let those people go. This is 
foul on so many levels. It's not even funny. This is so freaking disgusting. I've never heard of such savagery. No, I have. Dealing with Europeans in the country that my ancestors, my ancestors built for a better life for African Americans in particular, these other people who are criminals are running amok. There's a term. It says the chickens come home to roost. There's another term. Karma's a bitch. There's different terms that describe what goes around comes around. It's a shame, but God never fails. I digress. This story, though, as I'm reading it, I'm in shock. Not in shock. No, I'm not in shock. I'm puzzled, though. I Every day, we witness more and more and more white supremacy on the foulest of levels. But let me get back to this story. New Sarah Jr. also said that black people should, quote, stay the fuck out of border town, unquote, and refer to the 18-year-old as fucking little fucking nigger. In a separate incident noted in the report which occurred in November 2015, New Sarah said he wished an African American from Trenton who he believed had slashed the tires of a police vehicle would give him a reason to put my hands on him. Quote, these niggers are like ISIS. They have no value, New Sarah said. They should line them up line them all up and mow them down I'd like to be the fire be on the firing squad I could do it I used to think about it if I could shoot someone or not I could do it I'm tired of it unquote Nucera also instructed police officers to bring canines to certain games and position the canine vehicles at the entrance to the gymnasium in order to intimidate African American patrons, according to the FBI. In another instance, Nucera told an officer to walk a police dog through an apartment complex to African American residents to see him. William Fitzpatrick, New Jersey's acting top federal prosecutor, said in a statement that Nucera quote, dishonored the profession and harbored intense racial animosity and senseless hatred of African Americans. The conduct alleged is a shocking breach of duty of every police officer to provide equal justice under the law and never to mistreat a person in custody, unquote, Fitzpatrick said. Well, let me just say this before moving on in this here uh, commentary with all due respect acting top federal prosecutor you guys knew all along what type of character this new Sarah person was you knew all along because you knew of these other instances and you yet you allowed him to remain as police chief so I actually blame all of you all of you, in my opinion, have conspired to keep him on the payroll, which allowed him to discriminate, terrorize, and racially target black people. I, in my opinion, would charge all of you guilty as charged for knowing and then allowing that to happen. But I digress. Steve Benowitz, the mayor of Border Town Township, said in a statement sent to, to the uh, Post on Wednesday afternoon that the charges were, quote, limited to one person and are not indicative of the Border Town Township Police Department or the township as a whole, unquote. Yeah, you guys always say that. And you're all in cahoots. 
That's the truth. You guys can paint it up, sweeten it up, sugarcoat it all you like. But the facts remain as they are. You guys all knew about it and you all allowed it to happen. You guys are all guilty as charged for knowing and conspiring to go along with it. That's the reality. Anyways. It says he charged, he called the charges abhorrent and said it was important to note that they began from a self-reported complaint from within the township police department. Yeah, because they know that they were about to get exposed. Border Town is a town of fewer than 4,000 people located south of Trenton and a little over an hour outside of Philadelphia. The Trentonian reported in January that Nucera was mysteriously quote MIA and that official said the police chief had retired amid rumors that he was under criminal investigation. His salary was reported to be $147,724 per year. So basically the city the of town of Border Town Township paid this devil a hundred and forty seven thousand seven hundred and twenty four thousand seven hundred and twenty four dollars per year to terrorize harass criminalize lock up black people out of a hatred he committed so many hate crimes I'm sure that they're not allowing people to know this is how they get down this is what we're exposing we're exposing dirtiness we're exposing foulness we're exposing wrong this is about righteousness and what's wrong and we are going to expose wrong lastly the federal court records do not indicate that Nucera has an attorney there is currently an acting chief in place in Border Town where his son Frank Nasera III is serving as a traffic sergeant. I would certainly look into his background. Like father, like son. Like father, like son. Like father, like son. He is a traffic sergeant in the same town. Not good. Do the right thing. This is Guru. Peace out.